Hey, we got Drew's Bees here back for a little Car Tuesday, reacting to them cartoons on Tuesday. Today it's Teen Titans Season 1, Episode 1 1, aka 11. And uh, this is called Apprentice Part 1. So it's a two parter. I'm not sure if this is. I think this is then the finale, Part 1 of the finale, I would guess. Yeah, I'm hoping that that will see a reappearance of like the plotline that was ongoing with Robin, with Slade, Red X, all of that from two times ago. Last time we had Mad Mod, it was a essentially a throwaway, not a throwaway episode maybe, but it didn't have anything to do with the main storyline. Um, even though I did enjoy the villain and it, it was, uh, you know, a 60s British mod guy who was really an old man that had them in a like a VR room type of thing. I actually saw after the fact that that Mad Mod was voiced by Malcolm McDowell, who was like famous, you know, famous British actor. He was in like Clockwork Orange and uh, um, other films, I think from that era, 60s, 70s era, where he played kind of a mod type guy also. So that makes sense. But yeah, I was, I've also was t uh, told that you can get clued into if it's going to be a more serious episode or more of a comedic episode like last one was more comedic based on the theme song being in english or japanese so when it's japanese like it was last time it's more comedic i guess so interesting i'm hoping to hear the uh this, the english version this time though also i looked up more about the band because i kept i feel like i kept mispronouncing their name or saying it wrong or for, forgetting what it is exactly but it's puffy ami yumi still don't know if i'm saying that right but that's what it looks like. Apparently they're called Puffy in Japan, but they, when they came to America to do stuff, they changed it to, their names are Ami and Yumi, I guess. So they changed it to Puffy Ami Yumi to avoid copyright from Sean Diddy Combs, who used to be Puff Daddy, of course, or Puffy. So that's interesting. And yeah, I had been told before that they had their own Cartoon Network show after this too. I guess that uh, premiered in 2005. As you can tell, I'm just looking at the Google here, but uh, yeah, Puffy on the Yumi, and I'm pretty sure they did the song last time too. There was like a montage, Scooby Doo style montage with Mad Mod chasing them around that they did a song for, which I believe at least, which uh, I liked that one too. Yeah, Puffy on the Yumi. Wonder if what they're doing these days. Anyway, uh, yeah, back to this one. If it is a back to the storyline, I mean, Apprentice. It seemed, I did kind of think like Slade was trying to get, it seemed like trying to get Robin on his side or like to, he's like trying to like test him and train him almost to like, so he can use him somehow to see, see Robin as some sort of apprentice. Still don't exactly know why Robin would ever go over to that side, but um, you know, the villain side, but maybe Slade will devise some type of way or you know, he likes using other villains and such bringing them in so maybe he'll, maybe there's some villain that can like brainwash people or something that Slade will get a hold of. I don't know, I think that could be a decent guess though. Um, I also want to see, because it, the last episode had nothing to do with the one before, we didn't really see the fallout from Robin's actions with being Red X, where at the end of that episode it seemed like the team was pretty upset with him, so I wonder if we'll get anything about that this time, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it here. Alright, I'm coming back in. I actually started the episode, and after a little bit I realized, like, this doesn't seem like it'd be Apprentice Part 1. I cross-referenced Wikipedia with what the order I have here, and it looks like this episode is called Car Trouble. It says on Wikipedia the episode was originally aired out of order as the season finale. So, it's Car Trouble that I'm going to be doing today, I guess. I'm a third of the way through as I uh, cut back in here, but obviously the, the reaction will be just coming up now, but uh, yeah. So anyway, it was a serious, you know, it was the English version of the song, the theme song. I guess it will be a little more of a serious episode still, but uh, yeah, it's not going to be that finale. I don't think Slade's going to be involved here. It seems to be so far a, a uh, you know, cyborg episode and he's like his uh pride and joyous car versus what the team needs etc and uh yeah i'm gonna get back into it now but please enjoy the reaction from the beginning let's get into trouble all 
right, so yeah, as I said in the intro, uh, or as I cut in with, uh, the episode airing order that I was looking at, it was the, the original air date order that I have been looking at to see what's up next, where I just see the name of the episode and nothing else so I don't get spoiled. But it did me wrong this time because the episode aired out of order, this one, but now when it's out on mine here, years later, they have it in the right order, I guess. So wasn't the apprenticeship one, part, part one, um, which yeah, again, must be the right finale. But just as well, because I kind of now think I should watch one, you know, the two-part episode all together, which I don't have time to do at the moment anyway, so could be just as well. Um, but yeah, this was a, it still wasn't too serious of an episode, but I guess the, the differentiation between the, the theme song thing I was told is like, it was still, you know, there's still going to be comedy in most of the episodes, but it was, you know, it was a character-based episode, um, whereas like the last one was more based around the villain and the idea comedy idea of it this was you know definitely a cyborg based episode having to choose your you know your hobby essentially and what you put so much effort into versus doing the right thing with the team at the end he literally had to destroy it to get the bad guys so yeah and then it was kind of uh they paired him up with raven this time which i liked we haven't seen them interact too much there was the episode you know the kind of the main raven episode so far at him and beast boy going into her psyche essentially so it they were together in that one too, but with Beast Boy. This is just kind of them, and I like that, um, yeah, even though she didn't, doesn't completely get, you know, she's saying boys and all this stuff, and like the obsession with the cars, and she can respect then putting so much effort into something, and then she's even helping him, you know, at the end rebuild it, so I like that. It's getting kind of, you know, I watch, I've been watching all the Ben 10 series, you know, by the way, check out Patreon Drew's views if you want the uh, Ben 10 Ultimate Alien that I'm doing right now. But I was getting some Ben 10 kind of vibes from this episode with the car stuff, especially um, Cyborg's obsession with the cars, kind of like Kevin from Ben 10. And um, even the main villain, uh, Overload, I guess, was kind of like the upgrade alien from Ben 10 where he's going into the machines and stuff. It was pretty funny that he's just a... Uh, He's literally just like a computer chip, basically. The disc thing, like him getting thrown in the police transport just as the disc is pretty funny. Um, but myriad villains this time, you know, the two kind of greaser kids. I still don't exactly, doesn't exactly make sense how they were able to steal Cyborg's car, but whatever. Like I said, you know, get on the new, on the 2.0 version of the T car, or where did it, what was it called? It wasn't Titanmobile. There was something not much better, but on version 2.0, Get that security upgraded. Maybe only you can get into it, like a hand scan or something. Anyway, and then we had the uh, Gizmo villain back from the first episode. I think other than Slade, I think this is the first reoccurrence of a villain. And again, he's kind of a comedy one, but he was like part of like a villain academy essentially. And Slade did use him in that one and another two people he was with, villains he was with that time. But yeah, Slade didn't seem to be involved at all this time. And I did like how, yeah, how came together with the different villains getting the car and eventually even the, the one who didn't seem connected to it at all uh, overload getting it at the end i always thought gotham was um based on new york it's usually portrayed that way in various batman movies and stuff that i've seen and gotham is even like the nickname for new york city but this episode seemed definitely more like california than new york with like the whole the burger stand and the going the car chase in the mountain sort of thing um, and even I think that electronic store I, I mentioned it during the episode but I think that's based on a based on a California uh, chain but anyway yeah uh, so not where I expected this episode but uh, I did enjoy it and I am excited for the finale next time when you know we got to dive back into this Robin stuff they put me they hooked me in with that on the masks episode I want to see them bring it home. So yes, Apprentice will be happening next time. But until then, let me know what you thought of this episode and season one. And I'm driving up out of here. Peace.